As you may know, around three months ago, I released my second app called Arpster, and I'm here to tell you today exactly how much money I've made off of this app so far. For context, around three months ago, I released an app called Arpster. It's a planning app for arborists. An arborist is someone who works with trees. They take care of the nature in like someone's yard. It can be cutting down a dead tree. It can be pruning a living tree, whatever, whatever. But they essentially, they take care of trees. That's what an arborist does. In an arborist job, there are quite some complicated things which you need to keep track of. For example, for every work that you do, you need to commit a risk assessment, which basically just means assessing the risk of that particular place and working near a road. Are there cyclists? Are there pedestrians? Etc. Etc. You need to assess that risk in order to determine is this a safe job to do and is this something which I can manage if anything goes wrong, etc. Also, you need to keep track of your gear, check when it expires, etc. But also track your jobs and make sure that you're on top of your calendar, so to speak. So this app comes with three different subscriptions. First of all, there's a monthly one where you just pay month by month. Second of all, there's a quarterly one and then there's a yearly one. And you get a discount as you go through the monthly, yearly and the quarterly one, with the yearly being the cheapest if you split it out on a month per month basis and the monthly one being the most expensive. Also, if you sign up for a quarterly or for a yearly one, you do get a free trial included in that. So, let's break this down to Apple and Apple. Android because this is split up into two different kinds of things and it varies quite differently what kind of revenue you're making just because who has the app installed but we actually have some quite interesting results from this so far. So I released this app in the middle of May which means that this app has been around for a little more than three months as this is the end of August right now but we're just going to call it three months. Let's start with Apple. On Apple we had 5.9 thousand impressions. This means that on the App Store people saw this 5,900 times approximately and out of these 5,900 people 563 decided to click the app and view the app page. Of these 593 people, 183 people actually downloaded the app. And if we look at where people downloaded the app, it's pretty much two countries that were responsible for 80% of all the downloads. That's Sweden, where I'm from, just because this is where we have some local arborists, etc., who have been testing it out and also heard about it. But also the US, because that's a relatively large market for arborists. So it's been Sweden, US, Germany have been the largest markets for the app. Looking at the devices, it's almost primarily iPhone. It was 95% iPhone which means that a couple of people installed it on an iPad. It's not really optimized for iPad. It does work well on iPad, but the layout is not really optimized for iPad. It's meant to be a phone app, something that I probably need to work on in the future, but for now it's primarily iPhone, and that's why most people installed it on an iPhone. But getting down to the money, the proceeds that we have made off the app so far in this three and a half month period is 262 US dollars net. This means that I think before uh, fees, taxes, etc., we've made around 350 US dollars. But what you get from Apple after VAT is paid, fees are paid, etc., is around 262. This is significantly more than I made in my first app or in total, but also it's not really uh, enough to say that this is commercially successful yet because we're quite, a, we're quite a long way from app. But also, it should be pointed out that we probably haven't spent that much in marketing. Uh, we've done no digital marketing whatsoever. We have sent out a couple of flyers in some, to some arborists, but that has definitely cost less than those $360 that we're making uh, so far. So therefore, we're just, if you're just looking at Apple only, we're already in the, in the green if you don't consider the time I've spent building this app. But just from a monetization perspective, we're already kind of break even. Moving over to Google. On Google, we had 4,030 impressions. From these impressions, we received 213 downloads. All these downloads, 90 people still have the app installed, which in itself is pretty cool. If you think, if you take a step back and just think about, okay, 90 people in one room, what does that look like? That's a big room, and this is only Google now, bear in mind. And they have the app that I built in my closet installed on their app and using it. Okay, everyone's not an active user, but 90 people have the app that I built installed on just Android, which is in itself is wild, especially considering that in Sweden, Android is definitely the, the smaller market share uh, for phones within our target demographic. On Google, we did have one crash so far. I'm not really sure what it was but it's one crash so it's not really much to worry about on Apple we had zero crashes just worth uh, worth pointing out and what's interesting is that on Android the market trend is actually exactly the same it's the vast majority of Sweden and the US and then the third largest market is Germany I guess those are the largest arborist markets Germany and uh, the US I guess as well as UK which we haven't really had any coverage in but and then Sweden being our, our local one on Google Play Store then we made 4950 Swedish crowns so far and that is gross so that's before any fees etc. In US dollars that's around 450 US dollars. So if we translate that to or if we take the Apple 350 pre 
uh, fees, etc., as well as the gross from Google, which is $450. Made around $800 so far in the first three months of the app, just from subscriptions alone. And that is the T, I guess. There's still not much, too much detail uh, surrounding it more than that. I think it's okay. It's definitely a better start to, uh, to this app than I had to my first app, Wonder Sagas. If you remember that video, we went over the, the monetization there. I think we're already eight times whatever we made with that app to begin with. So that's pretty positive. Also, I think there's much more monetization potential with this app. And there's a lot of things that I'm going to be working on now this fall in order to one, get the app on more phones and also improve the UI UX of the app so that it's more usable uh, for the end user when they install it. So we have a couple of ideas on how to increase the monetization. I do think though that this is an indication that there is some market to some degree uh, for this particular app. And I think that this is not really proven that there's commercial viability just yet, but I think we're getting there. And that's why that's why it's quite interesting. So $800 uh, gross. And I think if we take net, I think we're sitting at around 650 after fees, VAT, etc. But that's also depending on how you report, which is uh, yeah, a decent start. If you enjoy this type of stuff, if you want to see how this app goes, if you want to build your own app, or if you want to just follow along this whole starting a startup journey, then feel free to subscribe down below. Hit the notification bell so that you're notified when these videos come up. And I'll be making sure to share more of these milestones along the way of this app building journey. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.